Hey there friends, in today's video I will show you what I will be using for my daily journal and I have two really pretty sticker books that I want to flip through. Hi, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Organize and Bless Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will know when a new video is posted. All right, friends, I wanted to go ahead and show you uh, these two sticker books and also this beautiful Philofax that I will be using as my new daily journal. So I have completed my daily journal and I needed a new one. So I wanna try the Philofax. The other day I did a video on some notebooks that I was um, trying out to use for a daily journal, but I decided on this uh, brand uh, Philofax. They are from the UK and one of the things or one of the main reasons why I want to try them is because most of their of their notebooks and uh, planners uh, come in these beautiful covers. So let me go ahead and take it out of here. It just came um, so beautifully packaged and it looks like uh, this is a it's called the original and it's an a5 organizer it's from the uk i did get it you can find it at philofax.com but i did get it on amazon it is genuine leather which is really cool so i wanted to go ahead i'm going to give you um one of the reasons let me let me show you the cover here look how pretty this uh philofax um emblem is here and so i got it in this color called I believe it's like raspberry and here is the back look how pretty i mean this smells like leather has a wonderful little um button there and then this one has what does it say philofax established in 1921 the original just the just the attention to detail on these and then it does have like this pink stitching which is really pretty. So A5 is the size that I wanted to um, transition into. I showed you the last time my big, big eight by 10 Ecolo journal. So I wanted to downsize. And uh, this guy also has like a pocket here and it has like a slipped slip here and here. And then it does have like a compartment here, one here, and then a pen loop here. And then it does come with this um, notebook. So this notebook is really neat because it um, it is kind of like the disc system where the pages are already perforated for you. So you can pull out the sheet, write on it, work on it, and then see how it's already um perforated you can put the sheet back into the notebook just like the disc and um you know you can go on to the next page so it's um the lines are a little bit uh thinner that than what we i'm used to but it's fine i think i'll write um better and um so it does have this band here and then this slip here but if I finish this notebook, I can just pull it out and just have really nice like um, icons on it, hearts, planes, a drink, a cafe, a, a clock, um, a camera, all kinds of little icons here, Filofax. So you can buy these and, you know, start over. Um, let me see if I can pull it back in here real easy. And I know that um, different A5s do fit in here. Uh, you can do whatever A5 notebook that you have, you can do it in there. So I really like, um, I really like it. One of the reasons why I wanted to go with this um, notebook was because I have to have lines. I, I, 
I journal daily, so I have to have a notebook that has lines on it. And um, I have to have the ability to take it with me when I travel because I daily journal. I want to continue journaling even while I'm on vacation. So uh, that's why, you know, even if I don't want to take the whole folio, I can pull out the notebook or I can pull out the sheets that I need for that week and, you know, take it in a folder or something lighter and just journal without having to have all the things. Um, so that was one of the things that I did realize, you know, a daily journal for me has to be uh, portable most of the time. I would say 95% of the time it does sit on my desk. But when I go on vacation, I still want to journal about what we did that day. And so this will allow me to do it. I can even just pull out, you know, the notebook and take this one little notebook with me if I need to take it on vacation. So that's what I wanted to show you about this. I'm going to um, set it up here in a minute so that I can journal for me. That's one, this one. I think I can get may and june in here and uh let's transition let me show you those sticker books all right so this will this uh sticker book is called the little coffee moment and it is a sticker book that i found on amazon i'm gonna leave the link down below it does say it has 20 sheets and um it i do believe that this is made in china so uh, they're really really pretty and I really although I'm not a big coffee drinker I did like uh, the images on this these sticker books so we have, here we have uh, two girls we have two sandwiches and then some kind of uh, three images here with some coffee in it so this um, coffee book does have a neutral vibe to it more of the browns and bronze but i think because it's fairly neutral you can use it all year round so here we have again two girls and we have uh two coffee pictures then we do have two cakes and then i think that's may maybe like uh some kind of a um uh, cocktail <laughs> here we go again two girls uh, we have two coffee pictures, we have a wine picture, a sandwich, and then some uh, cocktails there as well. All these that I've shown you so far are on clear sticker paper, so they'll melt into your pages really, really well. Here we have again the two girls, two coffee stickers, three coffee stickers. We have a, like iced coffee and then like a coffee press or coffee machine there. Again, on this page, we have two girls, two, three coffees, a coffee machine, and then some kind of a picture here with wine and bread and grapes. So we do have here um, two coffee machines, some coffee beans, some uh, sandwiches, coffees and then like coffee and bread some of these uh phrases i have heard from other people that uh sometimes the phrases don't make sense because of something is lost in trans translation so i did notice that uh i don't know if it's going to be in this book or the other that some of the phrases were kind of weird but um <laughs> i'll just go ahead and read them so we have an o september a strike while the iron is hot i don't know if i'll be using uh any of the quotes but i do love the stickers so all these stickers here are on clear so we have a window a two bar stools a little espresso machine set up a little patio uh the inside of a cafe and then the cafe and the little bars on the outside or the little tables on the outside i love these that are like the little shop the little cafe shop we have here a window, a little patio, again an espresso machine, and another beautiful little window. Here we have three girls or three doll dolls. Um, we do have a cake and then a coffee, 
Uh, we have two coffees, uh, iced coffee, and even a hamburger there. Here, uh, so this, oh, let me, yeah. This page is where your white sticker starts. So these stickers are all on white, so they are not, they have a white backing. So they will not, um, you know, they won't lay uh, clear on your paper, but they look really nice. So here we have again, three coffee girls. We have two coffee pictures, coffee beans, some cold coffee, a little uh, coffee pot, and then the espresso machine here. Here are some to-go cups with some flowers. We have coffee, the little coffee uh, mugs. We have some cookies, some dessert. Here we have like a very interesting, it almost looks like a hot dog with flowers on it, which is kind of weird, but okay <laughs> and so we do have some flowers and then uh, some bread so this is yeah this is where the little sayings kind of go so it says never say die and you need me so um the 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 phrases are a little weird uh this this page has uh some cookies it has some desserts it has some coffee beans it does have some uh, leaves and then a coffee and bread and some some sayings that kind of don't make any sense here are some cookies and we have some desserts we have some chocolate some coffee a loaf of bread with some flowers we have a, a to-go cup with flowers and a little beautiful teddy bear as well here we have um an espresso machine we have a, a coffee like a layered cake we have a coffee with a beautiful swirl there. Um, coffee, pitcher of coffee, uh, some coffee beans, a really yummy like coffee dessert, a hamburger, another coffee with a lot of Cool Whip, <laughs> and then um, like a glass of wine right there. Uh, this one has two girls and all these are on white, still on white. On white backing we have a loaf of bread we have some coffee some wine a coffee pitcher uh, some grains and then a, a like a cold coffee here we have some cookies and a dessert some coffees a to-go some to-go cups the bread with <laughs> the loaf of bread with some flowers a sandwich some coffee beans and some cookies we even have a heart there this one has some coffees and then it has a couple of like quotes which um, are kind of weird but <laughs> but um, the images the rest of the images kind of um, are worth it so here we we at the end they have these labels they have some circles and some long labels and here we have more of those labels with a different image of these sunflowers and then this one's probably one of my favorite pages which is like a washi page um it's all on white but this one's really cool because the flower is cut around you know the edge of the flowers and then you have just some strips that i think are gonna look really really nice so this is um, called Little Coffee Moment, and um, I really like it. I think it's a really, really pretty sticker book. Let me show you the other one. All right, the second sticker book that I found on Amazon about coffee was this one. This one does have a brand. It says it's by Mr. Paper. It's called The Gorgeous Fantasy Afternoon Coffee. It does have 20 sheets, and this cafe looks really beautiful. I don't know what this says, uh, except for the made in China. Uh, so this is also from China. So I, um, this one with, uh, yeah, I think this one is the one. So on this one, they, the concept is they give you the stickers on clear and then they give you the stickers on white, but it's the same stickers. So we have a lot of uh, coffee machines here, espresso machines, and you can have it on clear 
or on white. Here we have some desserts, some cookies, some cakes, and then we do have like a coffee, like a mobile coffee station, and then a storefront, like a coffee, um, coffee house. This page has uh, these coffees on wheels. It has a coffee house. It does have a coffee machine, some cookies, and then like coffee and 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 dessert. And same thing on this one, but it's all on white. Here's your clear page. These are really, really like, I think they um, look really beautiful. They are like the inside of the coffee shop, the coffee shop on the outside, a coffee shop with a buggy, the like bar area of a coffee shop, and then like a coffee shop with a car, and then a to go. Um, I don't know if you can see them from that angle, but this is how they look up close. And so you have the clear, and then you have the on white. These are um, some uh, coffees, like dessert coffees, I would call them. Uh, same thing here, just a bunch of dessert coffees and then like coffee or, I think these are like uh, those presses that ground, ground coffee whatever whatever grounds their coffee and then here it is on white these are again our coffee shops so we have again the buggy in front of the coffee shop like the patio of the coffee shop another patio coffee shop another view of the outside of a coffee shop here's another one and here's another i love the uh, mix of the green and then you know the architecture of the outside and then here it is on white these um were some of my favorites because there is a combination of a cup of coffee with books and florals <laughs> so these are like really really pretty combinations i really like them i think they're gonna look really nice and then here is the white same stickers but on white so here we go with the clear stickers we do have three cakes and three sets of cookies. And then here is the same, but on white. And then we get to the boxes. So there are some boxes in this uh, caramel, orangey, copper looking uh, color palette. And then there are some like dots. And here's the second page of those. And then there are some tags. So we have circles and squares and then just different kind of um, sizes another page of that and then that is the end so this one was called the gorgeous fantasy afternoon coffee and i'll have these uh, link down below okay now i'm going to go ahead and set up um, parts of my daily journal here off camera i did uh, test the paper in this filofax i did um, some stampings with Distress Oxide and then my favorite studio Calico. I did take some Tombow markers and some Sharpie markers. Also my favorite tool pen and Sorosa pen and some Sharpie S notes. And even um, I was trying out my fountain pens, but they are kind of running low on ink. But most of them, uh, this paper did extremely well. I mean, the only thing you can really tell is that the little bit of the ink but um it's not that bad so this paper is really good for um ink pads and also any other kind of markers so i'm going to remove this front page i don't need it anymore and i'm just going to make a simple may page i am not going to i would usually uh, put some kind of a like scrap of paper but I want to kind of go um, really pretty much real basic and I'm just going to write the month and the year and then I'm going to have the um, I think I'll have I don't know let me think let me see if I can find 
some scrapbook paper or maybe even just white paper let me go check okay i did find this coffee uh, paper because i'm going to be using those coffee um stickers i got this from a 12 by 12 by 12 paper pad from Catherine Puller. It's called Java Fix and it has all these really pretty uh, coffee themed papers. So I, what I did, because I don't have the uh, Filofax punch, I just punched it with a classic Happy Planner punch and I'm just gonna slip it in here. It's not exact and the punch is a little bit bigger. This punch is, has a different shape, um, but it will do for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go ahead and adhere it to this front page, and then I will cut it. So I'm gonna get my double-sided tape, and just I just find it's easier to to glue it down if I have it here in the notebook than trying to do it outside of the notebook. Okay, so there we have it. That's gonna be my cover and then I'm going to, I could, I could possibly leave it, but no. <laughs> okay, let me, now I'm going to remove it from the actual notebook and I'm going to trim the excess here. Uh, let's see where I need to trim. Right about here, almost six. Let's see if that works. You can tell that it's a little bit different than the Filofax punch. I probably need to give me a Filofax punch, but for the sake of uh, starting the notebook, I could kind of, let's see. Yeah, I think the top and the bottom. So as long as it closes, I probably, let me see, does it, oh good, I was going to say, does it have rounded corners? <laughs> rounded corners are like a nightmare, because um, it's like you have to be rounding everything you add in. Okay, so now I'm going to make this my cover. <sighs> I don't really want to punch this card, so I'm just going to cut this piece off real quick here on the side. This is where I'm just going to put may so that I can I like to make these cards and this paper has like a graph line so that's really cool to line it up all right now we can start stamping and I'm just going to stamp May 2024 and then just put a few just a few stickers for um, for decoration. Hopefully you can see there. So 20, I just eyeball this. Um, it's only for me, so just whatever works for me. Here's 2024. And then we can just bring in some really cool. Um, are you there? Okay, here we go. Some really nice stickers. So um, I do have, let's use some of these stickers. Which one did I like? I think I might get a girl from this one. There were some here at the, 
So we got some girls here and here. I do love the coffee shop ones. I think a, a girl. Okay, so I'm gonna put her. This sticker is on white, so that's great. And then maybe a sticker up here of a coffee, like a kind of, well, this one would probably be pretty big. I'm trying to find a smaller one. Mm, I'm gonna go with this one. That's a to-go cup that's on white, just because I don't want the sticker to get lost among the um, the paper and everything else. The white will make it work. And then maybe, maybe one more that we'll do down here with the, the coffee beads. Yeah, so I think that will work. And I'll get this notebook all set up. I'm just going to uh, stamp in my dates for May and put a little decor and then I'll be ready for journaling. Okay, friends, I have prepped my first week or my the first days of May in here in this A5 so I did use some washi tape from the washi tape shop and then all the stickers are from the two sticker books that I flipped through the little coffee moment and then the afternoon coffee and um, I really like the way this came out I did use my Catherine Pooler May stamp and for the numbers I did the tall skinny alpha and then I did stamp on the right side the days of the week with this stamp from Everyday Explorers. This one is my favorite. Um, so, and then I did use the black and the dark brown from Studio Calico. So let me just show you how my pages came out here. So this is my idea is to write on this side and then on this side and i do like to stamp the date on both sides uh, somehow just in case you know if this page gets lost i know that it goes back to uh, may 1. Um, i'm not stamping may on each one just so that i can have more writing space um, it does have may in the back so that will keep it in the in the correct month um, here is May the 2nd, just um, really using the same elements and uh, the same sticker books. Here I did the stamp for Thursday, and then here's May 3rd with uh, Friday there. Here's May the 4th, I did the window here for Saturday and then Sunday was the last day that I prepped in here May 5th and Sunday I went ahead and stamped May 6th which is the next uh, which is a Monday but I like to especially when I'm starting from scratch I do like to kind of work a week or a couple of days in the notebook and then um, you know adjust the number one thing that i'm most concerned about in this a5 is you know did i leave enough space um is it okay to put the three stickers or do i need to put less because i do um the whole purpose of this notebook is to journal so that's why i'm leaving the next week kind of blank so that i can during these first days that I'm in the notebook, I can just uh, test out to see if uh, I have left enough space. I think I'll be okay. I may have to write a little bit smaller or put smaller headers, but I am really liking the way these pages came out. 
and here I did make a mistake. Uh, sometimes my stamp falls as I'm stamping it. It just falls. And I did have that one kind of um, hit the notebook. So I did put a box there just to hide that. So that is how my daily journal is um, looking as of these first days of May. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this um, flip through and this setup. Uh, if you're interested in this particular file of facts or in the two sticker books that I shared, I'm going to leave my Amazon affiliate link down below. I would appreciate if you use that link if you are thinking of buying any of these products. Um, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. And if you have any questions or comments about anything that I shared, uh, feel free to leave your comment down below. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.